In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate your way around your project.co account. So if we dive into our account, the first page you see is your welcome page. This is the page that welcomes you to your account and it gives you the options to go in any which direction. So the first thing you'll see, the main thing you'll see on the pages is these big cards and these take you to your main pages within project.co. Just before we dive into that, I'll show you there's a couple of pages, the templates page and the time page that have little uh, icons next to them. And they're because those pages can't be seen by people with collaborator roles. So only creators can see templates and time. That's because only creators can use templates and only creators can use time. So they won't see those two cards at all. And like I said, these cards, they take you to the main pages within project.co. So if I click into projects, you'll go directly to your projects list page, as you'd probably expect. And uh, before we jump back and go into any of the other pages, you'll now notice that you have a series of breadcrumbs along the top of, of, uh, of every other page apart from the welcome page. And these breadcrumbs are really the main way to navigate around project.co. So when you jump to a page, that's your starting point. And from here, you can use the breadcrumbs to navigate back to your home page, but back to the welcome page. Or you can hover over projects. You can click on projects to go back to the main projects page. Um, or you can decide to go through to templates, tasks, people, groups. So you can go to all the pages that you could go to from your welcome page. So for example, if we click on to groups, you can see that the groups page loads and now the breadcrumbs has changed as well. So I can still click from groups to go to tasks, for example. And now you'll see in tasks that we have more breadcrumbs such as uh, all tasks or my tasks. So you can see here we're on the all tasks view so that we can see tasks assigned to all users. But I can quickly go to just my tasks and then I can see p uh, tasks that are just assigned to my, my demo user. Equally, we can change from my tasks in list view to the other types of views as well. So we can go from ca to calendar, scheduler, or even the Kanban view. So it's very quick to navigate around using the breadcrumbs. If I jump back to the welcome page now, you'll see that we can still go to all these different pages, for example, payments. And it's just the same as if I navigated to it through the breadcrumbs here. Again, the welcome page is like your base back to start. So on the welcome page, we do have a few other things to point out. We have starred pages, and this can be accessed from here, or it can be accessed from here. So if I just click here, you can see my starred pages are pages that I've starred as I've been navigating around project.co. These are pages that we set up as our favorites so that we can get back to them really quickly. So um, I can get back to my starred pages from the home page here, from the welcome page, or from any other page in the header here. The next thing in this tab is the uh, active projects that I have. So I have 30 active projects. So that'll take me to a filtered view of projects that only show uh, projects that are not completed. Then I have 34 tasks due or overdue. And in here, you can see um, a list of all tasks that have a date that's either due today or overdue. So it doesn't show tasks that have no date and it won't show tasks that have a future date, only tasks that are due today or overdue. And this is a really good um, link to go to to do your tasks that are due, tasks that you need to be doing now. Finally, in this tab section, we have seven unread notifications, and this will take us to our inbox. So we can either get to our inbox from here, or we can get to our inbox from here. So if I click here, it'll take us to our inbox. Lastly, in this section, we have an options button, and this will take us to different things depending on our role within the account. So every user will be able to go to your settings, which is a, sec a selection of personal settings for that user only. And then any creator admins will be able to go to account settings. Any creators will be able to go to integrations. And then uh, any creators will also be able to go to the help center as well. Uh, that's uh, only available for 
uh, creators because uh, of the branding issues. We don't want to send um, non-creators, collaborator people to uh, a project.co branded help center, for example. So that's just for creators only. And then all users will have their logout. The last thing to mention in terms of navigation is the top row here. And in here we have the project.co icon, or if you have rebranding enabled, uh, that'll be your icon. And that again, just takes you back to the welcome page. We have forward and backwards uh, buttons, so you can jump backwards and forwards to any pages that you've, that you've uh, navigated to. We have a global search that you can search for anything, projects, tasks, people, groups, for example, you can search for that in there. We've talked about our starred pages. Something that we've not talked about is time. So from here, I can allocate uh, time. I can start a project timer, uh, start, start a timer, sorry. Or I can add manual time, a manual time entry. So we can allocate, uh, add manual time manually or start a timer, all from in here. And we have our inbox here too. The final thing we have is our create new button here where we can create new projects, templates, tasks, people, groups, files, payments and time entries. So this button makes it very, very quick to create new items and invite new people as well. So that's a brief rundown of how to navigate your project.co account. Hope that makes it clear, but if you've got any questions, please get in touch with our support at any time.